Right, move, 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 move. Be careful on the car and move. Congratulations, Quinn Stefani. You just had a baby boy. Try to do a little paparazzi today. Are you ready? Are you ready, Aaron? Let's make it happen. All right, let's, let's go. go. Let's go. Get off the fucking property. Get off. Whoa, Whoa. Whoa. don't fucking touch me. Hey, Wendy, try to make it Uh oh. Who the fuck are you? There's no fence, six feet fence right here, man. Stop shooting over the fence. No, you're going to pay. I, I asked you, I got your flight. Get off the property. Just got here. All right, let's go. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, come on, guys. Hey, you got to call back up. You got to call back up, officer. Put your back. Oh! You understand you got a job to do, but you got to get out of the street. Oh, yeah. You jump, he's fine. He's fine, you jump. Get like that video camera out of my face right now. I know I love you! I know that! I came to visit Owen Wilson. Get the fuck away from me, all right? There we go. Fucking sharp from sharp, motherfucker. So we have some kind of subtle communication with the family right now. Billy, Ray, and uh, her mom, Tisha, is, is the, the nicest people I ever met in this business uh, as far as a celebrity, you know? Especially because they're the parents of the big celebrity like Miley Cyrus. What did she say? She said uh, yesterday, what happened? She asked if I was here yesterday. Um. And I, I wasn't. And then she mentioned it was pretty crazy yesterday, but I wasn't here. So that's the mom talking to me. That's a, that's a huge deal. Being a paparazzi, okay. you have to be going by the book. You have to be clean of the record. Just being a paparazzi, they're going to get stopped by the cops all the time. So what happened right now, so Mila just came out of the restaurant. So we're following her, as you can see, her car's right there. So she was having lunch with uh, her friend, Justin, and then um, her sister, Brandy. What is your fortune cookie say, Mom? I hated my fortune cookie. <laughs> I asked for it, I was <laughs> How you doing, Mila? How you doing, Mila? There was a bunch of people today. Then they like taking the shots by the window while her she was having lunch. And that's something that pissed her off. So what do we do? But what I do, I try to get everybody to the same page. Hey, we gotta go, we gotta go. Hey guys, we gotta go. Hey. Yeah, I really, I really do. I'm sorry. Hey, hey, done, done, done deal. Hey guys, let's back up right now, okay? Otherwise we don't have all the afternoon. Let's go. Hey, no snow window shots, okay? Just imagine, if she gets pissed. Yeah. If she gets pissed, she say, you know what? I'm pissed at these guys, and it's gonna take me 
And then, I don't know, I don't want to see these guys no more for two weeks. And who gets, who pays the price? We pay for the price. And that's the time we need to see the difference between a good pap and a bad pap. A good pap, let her have her lunch and wait for her to come out and follow her to the car, to the lunch. We got the pictures. We don't have to be bugging her all day long. She needs to be happy. And the only way we're gonna be, gonna make her happy is respect and give her some space and not crossing the line. So that's what you gotta do. Hey guys, you guys wanna give some room or what? It looks like you're flashing. It's all lenses from here. Give some, give some space, guys. How you doing, Molly? Space, man. Hey, guys, pull back, pull back, pull back. It's a good stuff, Felix. Yeah, you know, it was just a quick sacker, but uh, that's all we can get. There you go. That's all good. Go. All right, all right. Let's go. Let's go. Now to the recording studio after she being the hair done, you know. But uh, I'm mad right now because of just jumpers, bro. Oh uh, yeah, this guy over there, he's a jumper. Yeah. Yeah. Real quick, can you tell me what a jumper is? A jumper? Yes. Uh, example. Let's say we get out of here, we go Beverly Hills. You wait outside his house all day to come out, so you can shoot him exclusively, so you can, you know, get the, the story right. Passage in out of the and blue. Someone knows a paparazzi, which is not me and all of my coworkers that were there working, and then this person calls a paparazzi. You know, so a paparazzi would just drive by and see, you know, another paparazzi with, with camera, he would just stop, you know, doesn't even know who is inside, you know, doesn't know, has no clue whatsoever in what's going on. And when they come out, other paparazzi, they know what car, what kind of car he's driving, and they see me driving, and those idiots, they just jump it. That's why you call the jumper. They just come and start taking pictures with me. Who's, who's he calling that guy? Who's he calling? I don't fucking know. Fucking gangbang shit, man. That's shit. Who are you calling, bro? Who are you calling, dog? Who are you calling? I'm not calling. I'm calling my supervisor. Oh, okay, don't call supervisor. Don't call no one. No, no, she's calling. Do your job. Just yeah, do no, your I job. That's what I was doing. So they go to start taking pictures with me. And now we have a problem. Yeah, but are you following? That's not cool. Oh, no, you follow me. Ah, no, you don't fight. Come on, man. I have a lot of respect for you, but you have this attitude. I have a respect for you, but this attitude is over for me, bro. I just don't want you to follow us to the fucking angle. I have people who I respect in this building, I have people who I don't. So the people I respect, I, I, I face them and I tell them, listen, bro, that's the way we work. Yeah. You don't want it to work that way, it's fine. You do whatever you feel like. You see what I mean? It pisses me off. 
I respect you, but that pisses me off, bro. Because only us know this, this angle over here. And you follow, you follow us for the answers, bro. How, how far do you think we're going like that? Man, I'm working in the house of rain in the morning. You jump, he's fine. He's fine, he jump. No, listen, he's fine to jump. I gotta follow to the angle. It's, it's just stupid, man. It's really difficult to be a paparazzi now. Oh, yeah, man. You gotta deal with all that. You, know? yeah. you gotta do the competition. You gotta do the parking lot. You gotta deal from people who's not involved in the story. You gotta, yeah. you gotta to shoot. You gotta pass all this, and then you shoot. Yeah. I'm telling you. No, no, I'm telling you something. So if you're a photographer, you follow me, he's gone. Man, I saw you jumping in the parking lot. How do you know this angle, man? Ah, man, come on, don't be stupid, bro. No, it's not my spy. The story is for everybody who deserves it. I just don't want to... We don't own the street, and we don't own the celebrity, you know, but what happened is, you know, we started working on Britney around 8 o'clock in the morning, you know, and we try to do 12-hour shift. But sometime, you know, we work longer than that long hours. Uh, we usually ask them, you know, do you know who, you know, who we waiting for, you know, most of the time they don't know the name of the celebrity, you know, we tell them to leave, we try to tell them that's how it started, you know, we've been working on the story, if they have no clue who it is, you know, we always ask them to leave. No, I don't I want you to enjoy it now, I just don't want you to do that again, I never told you anything you know, I respect you. If you spot the celebrity in the street, it's one thing, you know, you can follow, it's the street is free, you do whatever you want. Right, right. People know more than people, so you, you follow people for, to, to, to find out the spot to shoot, that's pissed me off. That's yeah. not worth it. Uh, he crossed the line, but he apologized, so my position now, I mean, I, I can go sleep, you know. I told him what I, how I feel like, and uh, for me, it's enough. Yeah. He, he realized the mistake he did, and uh, it's fine, he apologized yeah. for me, you know. I told him, like, for next time, if that happens next time, I'm not gonna understand, you know. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, finally, I mean, the good thing about it is that guy here has been in the business for a while, and uh, he, he knows who I am. How, you said how long have you been in the, the paparazzi business? Uh, two years and a half. And uh, covering Britney Spears for two years, I would say. We have a, a we call a team called MBF, who been working with Britney Spears for like all these two years. They've been working on Britney Spears for so many years, and Britney has, um, been doing a lot of stuff with the kids, with Kevin Featherline, the breakup. We unfortunately not gonna follow because there's so many places to go. So we're trying to adapt ourselves in the, in the business now. <laughs> without, yeah, without Britney. How is it working on Britney? You've been working on her how long? Yeah, we, we used to be very fun now. It's just kind of complimented of what's going on. When the story went down a little bit, you know? Like after set up the conservatorship, now we just have to wait for some breaking news to get going back again. She is going to go on tour. Kevin's going to uh, make himself available to be uh, where she can access her custody with the kids. These guys, these paparazzi guys, uh, Felix's guys, they've been working on Britney Spears for so many years. She's Britney Spears, damn it. She can come in. Ain't that right, Britney? Yeah, no, no, no. He's, 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 gonna gonna open it. he's gonna open it for you, Britney. We'll make sure. Yeah, you think it's not you, you think it's somebody else. We're here to go to the um, restaurant. Hello? Hey Britney, can you press that press that button again? Maybe we're not authorized to come in. No, you, you, you're authorized to come in here, Brandy, anytime. Do you, do you, do you, no, Brandy's beer, man. You're just not allowed to come in here. Oh, you're not it's... allowed to come right here? Hello? You go to the restaurant at least? Just turn around. Well, just turn around. Talk to Make a U-turn. Well, this hotel's old. Yeah, hey, Brandy, 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 Brandy. Why wouldn't they let you in, Brandy? What do you think? I don't really care. I mean, I can go to my house. Yeah. 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 We love you guys. We love you too, girl. I didn't do the extra thing. All day. It's all Look at the feet, man. Party at my house. All right, let's, let's go. go. Let's go. Oh, Brittany, let's do it. Yeah. Let's go ahead. Thank you, Brittany. We love you now. Sure. You know, the team, MBF, have been following Brittany for a while, and they just been getting some awesome video footage. Felix has been working on Brittany for a while, and he's been 
you know, um, the guy that's just been out there every time on Brittany, and uh, she's probably gotten to know uh, MBF guys from Roberto and Felix and, and Philippe. Philippe. You guys denied her from coming in here. How come y'all didn't let her in? That's not right. Thank you, Brittany. Thank you so much because you are one of the nicest celebrities that we have in this business, you know. What, can you walk us through what happened the night of, uh, at this hotel called the Four Seasons? And we went downstairs in the garage and we had a deal with the, with the security there. And, but you got some shots of Brittany. Can you walk yeah, us through I remember that. that. Yeah, what happened is she went inside the parking structure was uh, underground parking. Actually, that night, you know, if I'm not wrong, was Britney Spears' birthday. You know, she had a birthday party. And uh, we, f we couldn't get any good shots inside the party. So what we did, we followed the car all the way to the Four Seasons Hotel. So when the car went, like, underground parking, you know, we all, you know, ran inside the parking lot, tried to snap a picture. Uh -oh. It's your birthday! So when I came out the parking lot, you know, uh, some of the security officers, you know, they got me and uh, there was a time they tapped the spray in my face and uh, you know, they got grabbed me from the neck. So. They're not supposed to do that, right? Isn't that illegal? And as far as I know, they should be carrying uh, pepper spray on booty, you know, because uh, as far as I know, they were not licensed, you know, to carry that pepper spray and uh, actually it was like kind of assault, you know, their life was not even danger. So I was just trying to get a shot and, uh, yeah. The security were very aggressive at that time, but you know the hotel contacted me. You know the general manager. You know, they said sorry you know, for the incident that happened and stuff. You know, very much Desperate, you know, to get a water, you know, wash my face and stuff. It lasts for like a couple of hours. You know, I ended up missing my shots and she came out of the hotel because I couldn't drive. <laughs> He got you too? Brittany, really beautiful. Uh, maybe it doesn't sell, but if you got Brittany crying, you know, Brittany crashing, Brittany ah, getting crazy, it's gonna sell a lot of shaving the head, you know. Like crazy stuff that, that people want. Yeah. I can't yeah. see. Okay. 
Come on, keep on coming. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Where's the door? Right over here. So here in California, it gets really crazy with these paparazzis following celebrities. Like for instance, Britney Spears. Now here's one where she actually wanted to visit the kids at Kevin Featherline's house. When she showed up to Kevin Featherline's house, a group of the paparazzis followed. Right before that, she had shaved her hair off. So that's the reason why these paparazzis were on her, because all the tabloid media wanted a shot of Britney Spears being bald-headed and wanted to know why was she shaving her hair. Britney's really known to be very friendly, and the paparazzis love her, and she actually likes the paparazzis. That's why they keep on working on her over and over again. Britney and Allie, they stopped at a Jiffy Lube, and Allie approached the paparazzis, which is Britney's cousin, she says, guys, this is not a good time to be filming Britney. Please, guys. Don't, guys, please, please, guys, don't do this. They end up shooting Britney when she came out, but unfortunately for these paparazzis, she came out with an umbrella. When she hit the SUV with the umbrella, one of the paparazzis, which is Roberto, end up getting the last shot as she swiped Roberto in the back with the umbrella. So unfortunately for Brittany, wasn't a good time, but fortunately for the photographers, it was a money shot. Yes. To go in there, Liz? How was your day in there, Lindsay? Roberto now um, also works on Lindsay Lohan. And there was one time uh, uh, that he was actually working on Lindsay Lohan where she was having her crisis and her meltdown. Because she was crashing their car in Beverly Hills on Friday. Oh, okay. Uh, and then everybody looked for Lindsay and she disappeared. And then my friend called me at 2 in the morning and I uh, wake up and I uh, went there. Uh -huh. And then we got her some shots there, but uh, she covered the face. Oh, okay. And she got the car with uh, with uh, Samantha. I mean, she stopped at the guy's station. Uh -huh. and Mel, I think it's Melrose and Fairfax. Okay. And then when I step out the car, when I saw, she was passed out. Lindsay finally just partied so much that she ended up falling asleep with Samantha in in her car. And Roberto's shot that he got was uh, Lindsay sleeping in the car, which was a, a big photo for Roberto. Yeah, I got a tip uh, of Lindsay Lohan. She's at uh, Arclight Cine. Oh, okay. Thank you, thank you so much. For anything, pretty much. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I hope. Well, I mean, I don't care. But I mean, like, that's what we deal with every day. You know, they usually just get us for anything, pretty much. Depending the cops, they don't give. They, they, they don't care. But the cops, they they try to give you a hard time. What grounds is he stopping you for? Because my plate has a black cover on it. Not at it. Yeah, it's not gonna stop you. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I'm not doing anything wrong. You know, right? I'm just trying to make my living. You know. 
That's just the way this business is, you know. Tickets every day. Drives me crazy, but they can't do anything about it. They just stop it for any reason, pretty much. And it depends on the cop too sometimes, so. Do you know these guys? The cops? Oh, the cops, yeah, you, I, you see them every day, so. I mean, you, you don't want to be in this business. <laughs> the cops are giving me a hard time. There's nothing more going on. No, you're going to find other sort of habits. Do you know, at first, in this job working like a photographer, like it's like an old dream, be a photographer. And then I'm doing that right now with the best equipment that we can have in this, in the market. And right now, like thinking like a paparazzi, like a photographer, like a journalist, you know, it's like this, this job, it's addictive for you. You work and then you want to work more and then you begin one story and then you want to finish that story and then you want to keep it doing that story. The adrenaline kicks in, the excitement kicks in, the mind just, you're trying to comprehend what is happening at that moment. It's like an investigation, it's like a exciting, a exciting, you get new stories and then people come to you, oh, you got this, you got that, do you know? Paparazzi don't have the respect that we, we need. Before I was a paparazzi, I thought they were all scumbags, you know, the whole Diane thing. I, I wasn't a paparazzi then, and I, I, I hated and uh, despised them for, for what they had done, quote unquote. People like to see the information, they like to see what's going on in the celebrity world, but at the same time they think that paparazzis are assholes and they think that we're scumbags, which we're not, we're just trying to make a living. Just yeah. doing we love. That's why Hollywood exists, because it's nothing but an adrenaline, excitement. But uh, everybody has your, like, your opportunity in this business, you know? And then everybody has more luck than the other guys. And we have, I have some good luck, do you know, that I can say. But I have to be humble too, because it's like, depends the time you have the luck, depends the times you you don't have, depends the times you have the situation, depends the time you don't have the situation. And it's like, it's like a gamble. Always like a gamble, when we have a situation and we don't know what's going on, but we keep trying, keep trying, keep trying, and like all of the people, they give it up and then, no, I'm gonna wait because there's some to shit that's gonna happen. Because it's nothing but an adrenaline, excitement. It taps into your emotions. When you tap into emotion, do you tap into soul? Because now you're feeling, you're feeling something that expresses who you are, because you have a say now. Like a story that begins like a, like, uh, begins a story one day and depends we're going to finish that story in the other day. So we are the driving force of an industry. We keep working like 24 hours. I work already like more than 24 hours a day to keep the story, to finish like, right now that's finished, that's gone, there's no more story, that's finished. Right. You have to be like that in and this what, business. What, what's the satisfaction that you take when you work these long hours? Oh. No, the first thing when you get the picture, you have the pictures, you see the situation, you have good situation, and you have a good picture, sharp, clean, you have a good situation, do you know? And then I'm gonna see these pictures in the magazine, I'm gonna see these pictures on the websites, and then I'm gonna, okay, this is a good job. We were very surprised that we could actually uh, have an encounter with Paul McCartney there. A lot of the paths had shown up. We got word that he was inside. Word got around extremely fast because of an icon of that, that you know, that nature of a, of a celebrity. We all showed up. We all positioned ourselves. We positioned ourselves in the front, mm -hmm. which is the exit, and some positioned themselves in the underground parking. Did y'all see him downstairs? We saw the vehicle, we saw the car, we saw what well, he was gonna be exiting in. And we also encountered his security. And his security pretty much uh, had let us know that we were uh, too close to the vehicle, to step back. Yeah, away from in front of the car, right? So you don't go get ran over Everybody just I thought it was quite ironic for the simple fact that they never seemed to work with us. They always seemed to work against us. So uh, we pretty much listened to uh, his demands, and we backed up. Let's not sign any autographs, man. Get out of the way. Get out of the way of the car. Get out of the way. This is the car. This is the car. This is the car. All right? I just asked you to move. That's all you had to do. All I asked you to do is move. Okay. I don't give a shit. I really don't care. If that was true, then you would understand where I'm coming from. Some of us were a little 
thinking ahead of the game, so to speak, and uh, realizing that they never work with us in that manner, uh, there might be something fishy going on there. At The vehicle sped off, went to the front of the uh, door opening of uh, Modelo, the restaurant, which is a hot spot, and, uh, and Lord and behold, the <laughs> ex-Beetle comes out. Oh, we love you, Paul! Here's a milkshake for you. Here's a milkshake for you. That's the lady's crew. Come on. Smoke two sides. That's the lady's crew. That's the lady's crew. Let her through. 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 Due to the fact that there's so much chaos going on and the lights blaring at you and and sounds coming from every direction and he's thinking she's right behind him, oh. which she wasn't. She avoided the crowd by going around and he's screaming for her and she's already in the car. Oh. She's already inside, so to his delight, he has nothing to worry about except turn around and bid adieu and... McCartney, it was a pleasure seeing you. I wish you would have interacted with us more, but as the circumstances may be, as they may be, it was a little noisy, but uh, hey man, go have a milkshake. Well, what happened was a small group of us who were working together was standing in front of the restaurant and uh, lined up very calmly. And uh, when John came out, we did not rush. We stayed lined up. And uh, as I was shooting from behind, I felt a hard nudge. And it was a bodyguard passing me. And I just said, hey, watch it, man. And he turns around, comes back, and hits me hard in the shoulder and starts to take me down and throw my camera on the ground just for oh, taking the picture. Fucking hit me, wrong guy. Hit me, wrong guy. Why'd you do that? Why'd you do that? Get your hands off me right now, motherfucker. Wrong guy. Get your hands off me, wrong guy. Get your fucking hands off me. Hey, why'd you do that for? Hey, why, why'd you have to hit him like that for? Mark, the wrong guy. Why, why'd you have to do that? I haven't seen the guy before. I haven't worked this story before. It was non provoked. I'm standing on the curb taking pictures. Yeah. I could do every day. And John was coming out just fine, and no one no one ran up to him and started pushing him down no. for him to be doing this. This was not like a Britney Spears thing, right? No. It's completely mellow. Everybody mellow, knows. except for this hothead security guard that yeah. just wanted to take something out on you. Yeah. Now, when he threw you down, did you hurt yourself when you fell? Well, he uh, threw my camera to the ground, so I went leaning down for that, and then he pushed me into the ground, pushing my elbow, which is swollen and hurts at the time, yeah. and, uh, and my face on, into the ground, shoved me into the cement while I was holding my camera, and then I started to come back up, and he was pushing me against the wall. Now, are you going to go to the hospital, get checked out, or go to the doctor? I'm going to go have this checked out because I feel some a chip in there, and I don't know if I, it's sore. I don't know if I chipped the elbow or... Why the wrong guy? Why'd you have to do that? I'm the wrong guy. You fucked up. Why'd you have to do that? I know you, bitch. Why'd you have to do that, sir? Play? This is a camera, motherfucker. It ain't a gun. Is Why, it? Why'd you do that, sir? It's not a gun, is it? Why, see was, it was it worth it? Was it worth it doing that, sir? Well, I'd like to say, John, I apologize for the inconvenience this evening, but uh, you were merely taking pictures of a, of a tan talented musician coming out of a restaurant, and uh, we weren't aggressive, so I apologize for whatever we may have done to upset you or your bodyguard, but uh, I really do think what he did was on call for, and you may need to check it out.
because I was, my flash went in his face kind of, and he got pissed off and went ballistic and grabbed my shit, you know what? He grabbed your shit? <laughs> yeah, and when, you, when he grabbed your shit, what happened? You are like, hey, wait a minute. I, I grabbed it and he like broke my flash off and so I, like we were tugging on like the cord right here. Right, right, right. And we were tugging, tugging and then finally like we just looked back and there's like 50 cops coming in and we're like, holy crap. <laughs> Here's one that we end up getting video from the paparazzis. Orlando was at a, at a bar. He was uh, with a couple of girls and uh, the girl was trying to turn on the car and the car was already on. It's already on! It's already on! From that point, uh, this girl, the girl that was driving the car, Lando was in the passenger side, they drove off and a couple of the guys followed them to see where, where he's staying at so that way they can work on him the next day. Here's the situation that happened. Orlando came out of the passenger side and got into the driver's side. The girl that was driving went into the passenger side. The other girl was in the back seat, knocked out. Unfortunately for Orlando, this is where he ends up getting into an accident. He wrecks into a parked car and he leaves the scene of an accident and walks away while the paparazzi themselves tell Orlando that he needs to go back and, and handle his business right. because what he's doing is he's breaking the law. You're, you're going to get in trouble if you walk away, man. You have to deal with it, seriously. You have to deal with it. Yeah, that's like a hit and run thing. That's bad okay. news. Watch out. Watch out. Just deal with it. So in this situation, the paparazzis actually helped Orlando Bloom go back and attend his friends that are in the car. And unfortunately for one of the girls, she ended up hurting herself really bad and uh, uh, cut her head as she was bleeding. And uh, Orlando was able then to call the 911.
was just going to be a typical work day. Um, I got, I got a tip about Kanye West arriving at LAX. That work day really kind of took an unexpected twist, as you can say. Kanye, can we talk to you, Kanye? What's going on, man? What was up with all that stuff? Do you, you want to just squash all that? Because you're a cool guy. When we saw Kanye West, uh, I guess he just wasn't having a good day, but we had no idea until he uh, got closer and closer as he was uh, exiting the uh, airport. No, no, come on, Kanye, be cool, man. I mean, what's going on? Why, why, why can't we talk to you? I've been doing this for quite a bit, and really I haven't had a celebrity respond the way he responded to me. I mean, why? I mean, I, no, no, come on, Kanye, I don't want to fight with you. Dude, seriously, I don't want to fight with you, man, I'm just asking. What you're trying to do is get me in trouble. You have to pay you like 250000 And he looked like he was trying to come after me. No, 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 no. I, I never said anything bad to him or to his family. I just asked him, why can't we, why can't we talk to you? We were able to resolve it. But it was, uh, it was resolved with a handshake um, by Kanye West, apologizing with the fact that he did something that he wasn't supposed to do. I am LA's highest paparazzi photographer. The celebrities know me, they like me, they get my shot, and I need it. <laughs> Normally, everybody gonna try go freelancer too. It's a good working on, on a big crew because you have all the tips. So I'm over here, I'm over there, and so you have a lot of more connection when you work as a crew. But when you work by yourself, you have to sit, spend hours on a celebrity, then you can get something, you know. Right. Otherwise, you're gonna see like that gang bang all the time, gang bang. 10, 15 photographers and more the guys and the video makers. It's kind of crazy, dude. Give a pictures, Orlando. Stop give it a shit. Is that Kevin Bacon? Is that Kevin Bacon? I don't know. Make you a thing. Is that guy Kevin? Are you ready? Do you have your camera? Is that Kevin Bacon? Yeah, yep. that's him. Shoot. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. Wait a minute for the Oscars. <laughs> Yeah. Nice. Nice. Oh. Love the umbrella. That's like the umbrella. Thanks. Wait, we love that thing you did with that show. That was a happy accident, wasn't it? That so umbrella. So we saw the off. show on the internet. How's that going to come off? <laughs> that was a cool thing you did. Have a good night. Thank you, Kevin. Thanks, Kevin. That's it. Got it. <laughs> Do you see how it's nice, this work? It's like pop up, boom, that's it. And see how, and Dano, that's, Dano, that was like it, that, man. Did you get some good shots? Yeah, I got a good shot. Let me shot. see your shot. 
Pick that. Nice. It's supposed to bring the LAPD out here clearing the whole sidewalk. Do Stop hanging over the mess. So what, you used to work here, right? Yeah. I, and there was no problems before? I never knew about the, those rules, you know. New about, rules for me. Yeah, new rules for you? Yeah. Ivan. He's the owner of the Ivan. Ivan. can't interfere with his business. Ivan, you'll get... It's not a joke. Ivan, don't do Ivan. that. Dumb. Ivan! Hey, Don't enough. say my name, man. I'm not touching the fence. Listen, stop shooting over the fence, okay? I used to work here. Listen I don't to do what that. I'm saying. It doesn't matter, Ivan. It's a corporation. And I'm putting in handcuffs. I'll let you me a temporary restraining order. Do It'll it. be one year from here for 100 yards for one year. Okay? Stop it. Ivan, okay. Go ahead. Go, go get him. Think oh. I'm joking? No, I'm not it's your last warning. Pants. Stop shooting over the fence. Okay. It's not trespassing because okay. it's public side, but it's interfering with his business. I didn't know. I didn't. And it's a I felony in California. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. I'm gonna handcuff him if you do it again. But you used to work. But you used to work here, right? Yeah. I was. I used to valet the cars, celebrity cars here. Yeah. Just very careful. So you see. Amazing job. The best job I ever you... had before the paparazzi. Telling everybody. Guys walk up to me, he's the owner of the Ivy. You're interfering with the lawful operation of his business by harassing his customers. Please stop it. It's uh, Hayden from Heroes. What's the message about the dolphins, you know? That it's very important to pay attention to those kind of things, Absolutely. and even though something might be considered a tradition, yeah, it's important now more than ever that the world come together yeah. and make a change. How, how, because there have been traditions in the past doesn't mean we can't change. What's the next hey, step, Hayden? Are you going what's back the next to Japan? Step? Hopefully Japan, wherever the uh, problem goes, I hopefully will follow. Are you involved with any organizations in Los Angeles with animal rescue? Go ahead. I've uh, devoted most of my time to this one. Okay. Thanks, Thank you, Hayden. Good, right. Good job, Hayden. I feel like this is one of this. Is, I think one of the only celebrities that I really that I like. I really follow. I think if he's a little bit of his life or his career, you know, because I usually to listen his music in Brazil when I was a teenager. You know, became like a adult. Dance, listen to music, you know, that was really nice. It makes me remember a really good time. And now I have the pictures, you know. Okay, okay. Uh, look, B, uh, give me a second. Everybody on the front of the venture. 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 Right, Run the bumper, guys. Run the bumper. All right, you got it. Okay. 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 Don't do what I tell you to do. I call the police to kick you out. You should. Okay? okay. For right now, they are not here. Okay? Okay. Like, try to put the light right down there, the, in the door. Yeah, right there. Okay. Wait. Okay. Shit, I can see shit, and I didn't even focus on that shit. Guys, this is where I'm from. Close the door. Thank you. 
Welcome back, Michael. Welcome back, Michael. Please don't get in front of the car, okay? The last thing I need is to come out here and take a piece of paper on somebody getting their feet on. You understand? I don't think you guys are here to get hurt, right? You guys are here doing your job, yep. right? So don't get hurt, okay. please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. you know what? Uh, we'll go long on this. Go long and flash. It's much better. Much better quality. Just, you, just take this one so I'll put your 70 to 200 on. So, hurry up. You'll, you'll be able to get it. Okay, now do it, yeah. Go to the front, somebody go to the front. It's difficult. No, 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 yeah, no, they're going to the, the front, yeah, no, you're going to the front. Mm. Yeah, he covered a little bit where we could get the shot. Yeah. But I missed the shot. 
You should change the lens, should change the, the Now you know they can walk, he's gonna walk again in the front. Hurry, here. You gotta take your lens off. Just take the body off, put it down. Okay, hurry. Oh, get him. No. Okay, hurry, hurry, hurry. There you go. There. I don't want no one crosses. No, no, no. We're, we're not, we're not, we're not. Okay. Nice, 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 nice. 